Hello, thanks for watching my video. This is a video response to people, truthers, uh, about the 9-11 conspiracy that say that aluminum uh, does not glow red hot when it melts. In fact, it only turns into a silver pool. Uh, of course, I don't have a whole bunch of aluminum sitting around, but Reynolds wrap is pure aluminum. And what we're going to do is take a small sheet. Okay, and all we're going to do is take that and put it on this stove and see if, in fact, it, it does glow or not. So we'll just go ahead and turn on the fire. And uh, you can do your research on your own to see whether or not uh, Reynolds Wrap is pure aluminum or not. Now all I'm going to do is turn off the light. And as you can see, the heat does make aluminum glow red. So therefore, it is not hard to believe that the molten material that you see uh, on the World Trade Center uh, is in fact uh, anything other than aluminum. And of course, I'm not getting these temperatures anywhere near the temperatures uh, that you saw on the World Trade Center that day, but the, uh, the red is not just the flame from underneath. Uh, the flame, although does have a little bit of orange to it, does not it takes a while for it to reach the temperature and once it does it's the actual metal you can see here which is uh, getting red hot you can see I moved away from the fire it rapidly cools now I'm interested in finding the truth just like all the truthers are however I don't think uh, that uh, everything is a conspiracy um, of course, I want to know the truth. If someone has any evidence to the contrary, actual evidence, I'd be more than interested in, 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 in learning about it, uh, possibly critiquing it, um, and then moving forward. Uh, but for all those who say that, you know, aluminum does not glow red hot, uh, that's obviously not the case, as you can see here uh, in this video. With a rapid shutdown, you'll see the glow uh, continue a little while after the fuel is turned off. And it's a little bit hard to pick it up on the iPhone, but the glowing continued for probably half a second. As you can see, it's not evident until it warms up. Once it warms up, then it glows. So it's not just a reflection of light. It's actual temperature here. Um, discussions as to what the temperature are inside of the World Trade Center is a different question for a different day. Um, obviously, I have to do a uh, field test on that. Uh, but I have seen examples where... Uh, the temperature was much higher than uh, you'd expect from just a fuel fire with, uh, well, jet fuel is essentially uh, just kerosene. And kerosene fires don't usually burn very hot. Uh, however, there is some evidence that uh, in a confined space, the temperature can rise well above the burning point of kerosene. And also, uh, there were some naturally occurring um, uh, thermite reactions with molten aluminum touching uh, any rust. It actually causes um, its, its own reaction, uh, thermite reaction, that some people might have seen as evidence of thermite, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll discuss that later.